Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how to install Android 7.1 to your XU4. We're going to be installing this to an eMMC module. I have not been able to run this directly from an SD card. I don't know why. I've tried several times. I've flashed it several different ways, but I cannot get it to boot directly from the SD. So we're going to be using SD to eMMC installer. Now this is CyanogenMod 14.1. It's by Vodic, a user over at the Odroid forums, and he does some amazing work. He's got tons of builds. Let's get right into it. First thing you're gonna need to do is download the image. And I will leave a link to this right here. We're gonna go to this page. So from here, there are a few options. What we're going to be focusing on is SD to eMMC installer. It's 305 megs. Go ahead and download this. Now, while this is downloading, let's go over and get Win32 Disk Imager. This is very easy to install, quick to download. I've scanned it with Malwarebytes, and there's no viruses or malware embedded into the Win32 Disk Imager software at all. So I've downloaded the Android CyanogenMod 14.1 SD to eMMC image. We're going to extract it. So right click, extract. And I'm using WinRAR to extract. I'll leave a link in the description for you. So in order for this to work, the way that I'm showing you here is you will need an eMMC module, an SD card, and an Odroid XU4. Okay, now that we're extracted, let's just open it up and take a look. File type is a disk image file. It's 1.7 gigabytes. Android CyanogenMod 14.1 SD to eMMC. Let's open up Win32 Disk Imager. Yours may be on the desktop, mine is not though. Okay, I'm gonna insert my SD card into my PC. You need to make sure you note the drive letter of your SD card so you do not flash this to any external hard drive or USB that you're using. So I have my SD card inserted into my PC. And my drive letter is D. This is a 32 gigabyte card. This should work with an eight gigabyte card. You do not need to format it off the bat. Win32 Disk Imager will format it for you, but if you would like to, make sure you just format it FAT32. So in the device dropdown on Win32 Disk Imager, make sure you have the correct SD card chosen. Mine is drive D. We're gonna click on the blue folder and we're going to navigate to where we downloaded and extracted our CyanogenMod 14.1 image. Mine's on my desktop, XU4 Android, and it's right here, disk image file. Double click. Now we have CyanogenMod loaded here and we have our SD card. We're just gonna click write. Yes, it's going to overwrite the SD card. Make sure you are flashing to your SD card. Yes. Now this could take a little while depending on the speed of your USB port, the speed of your card reader, the speed of your SD card. Sit back and relax, it's gonna finish up. As you can see at the bottom, this is a decent SD card. I'm writing at 15 megabytes a second. Okay guys, so the write was successful. We now have Android on our SD card. We're gonna be moving to the Odroid XU4. We need to plug in our eMMC storage module, place our SD card in the Odroid XU4, and boot it up. All right guys, so we have our HDMI, our power cable, our eMMC module, and our freshly flashed SD card. What I'm gonna do is just plug in the SD card to the Odroid XU4. The switch here needs to be set to SD, so you want it facing this way. On the back side here, we're going to place our eMMC module. I'm going to plug in my HDMI and my power cable. 
So this is the time where a lot of people get confused here. The LED is going to be solid until the SD card is done transferring the Android image to the eMMC module. Let it sit. The fans will shut off. Then we're going to go ahead and remove the SD card and switch the boot mode to eMMC. Just give it a little while. Let it sit. Do not touch the unit. Okay, so that took about four minutes. Now it could take a lot longer for you if you have a slow SD card. This really depends on how fast the SD card is transferring the image to the eMMC module. The eMMC is very fast, way faster than an SD card. So this took four minutes. It could take 10 minutes depending on your SD card. Now what we're going to do is just unplug the unit we're going to take the SD card out and I'm going to switch to eMMC mode. Now we can boot up to Android, do the initial setup wizard steps, and you'll be downloading apps in no time. All right, guys. So the first boot might take you three to five minutes. Don't worry. The screen may be black for a little while. As long as you followed the directions correctly, you should be booting to this menu in just a second. Let it sit. The blue light will flash on the Odroid XU4. Even though the screen's black, let it sit until it boots. I'm going to choose English and I have a mouse connected. I also have my ethernet connected. Now for this part, I'm just going to Go ahead and fast forward. You can set up your Google account like you do with any Android phone. And there we have it, guys. We're now running Android 7.1 on our Odroid XU4. So to start off with, the resolution is set at 720 out of the box with this image, but we can change it to 1080p. Very simply, we want to find our settings. We're going to scroll all the way down to about tablet, scroll to the bottom, build number. Keep clicking on this until we get developer settings enabled. Back up. Now we have developer options, open developer options, and we need to look for enable root or root access. It's disabled by default. And I'm just going to go apps and ADB. Okay. Now, we're going to open up the menu and find Odroid Utility. Remember my choice. We need to allow root access. For screen, we can go to 1080. You can change the rotation. You can even change how the fan works. I find that the fan profile here is set perfectly for me. We also have an option for Ethernet, but mainly I'm sure a lot of you want to change to 1080p. I'm going to click apply. Now that we've applied the setting, we need to reboot one time. There's a little power button down here in the right hand corner and we'll just go to restart. After, you, after you've enabled 1080p, you'll just restart one time. And we are at 1080p. You can see all of my icons are a lot smaller now. It's, it's a very crisp picture. So that's pretty much it, guys. Now, there is no Bluetooth or Wi-Fi built into the Odroid XU4, but a lot of different dongles work. And I'm going to show you which one I use, and it works right out of the box. So I'm just going to plug in my Wi-Fi dongle here. And I'm going to unplug my Ethernet. So watch the top right hand corner just went off. And if I go to Wi-Fi, I have Wi-Fi access. And there we go. Now you can go to the App Store, download whatever you want and mess around with the Odroid XU4 running Android 7.1. So this build is amazing. This is done by Vodic over at the Odroid forums. And I definitely suggest go over there, sign up for the forums and thank him personally because he has spent a lot of time on this. It is awesome. Everything just works. It's a great build. I'm loving this build. 
I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could hit that like button and subscribe if you have any questions at all. First thing to do is go over to the forum and check it out. If you have a question, somebody else has probably had that same question and it's been answered. If you cannot find an answer after searching the forums, come back, ask me in the comments, and I'll try my hardest to help. Like always, thanks for watching.